Hi, I'm Logan and I'm from Manchester. I am a trans male. I started transitioning when I was 21. I'm now nearly 28. It took me a long time to get through there, having hormones, I had chest surgery. And then last year, I accidentally fell pregnant to my partner after I was only been together for about a year. <laughs> and yeah, at first it was really, really difficult. I felt like for a long time I was, you know, I spent so many years trying to find myself and transitioned into the person that I was supposed to be. And then for this to happen, I thought that this could be like the most feminine thing that I could possibly do. So it was kind of a big deal. And then I just thought, I'm gonna embrace this. And now I have a beautiful daughter. When we first announced that we were having a baby, it didn't go like as viral as it has now. Everyone around us was like really happy. I think that's because they know us and they know our story. But after a while, it just went, it was absolute chaos. People felt like I was taking away women's rights. People felt like they didn't understand that once I was a female and then I transitioned into a male, why would I then have a baby? But these people didn't understand that at that time for me, it was one of the most hardest things I've ever had to go through. So confusing of being male, but yet having something connected inside of me. And then the thought of having that taken away from me. It was just a really hard situation. Got a lot of, a lot of hate, and I still do now, all the time. I think when people write something online, they don't realise that the person's actually gonna see that, and then I'm just a real human being. Yeah. I think at first, I didn't wanna share, I didn't wanna share any of the story about what's happened. I was so embarrassed, I was so ashamed. I was just so scared of like what everyone would think. And then, after a while, I had like a few people message me and like, and said, this is so like inspiring what you're doing. I'm a trans man and I would never think to do that. Like, I could never go through that because it's the complete opposite to like what we've tried to do. And they were like, but I would really consider doing that. To be your authentic self and to have your own child is kind of like a bit of a dream. So I was like, oh my God, okay. So then I just thought what I'm doing and talking about journaling it, that can be a representation for other people that are too scared to talk about that because it's kind of like frowned upon. I will be honest that if I would have seen something like this of what I'm doing, I would have been like, oh, well, you said you were trans, but you've done this. But like, once you're in this situation, it was so confusing and I've just had to do what was right for me and it's been the best outcome and I'm just so grateful for what I have, which is beautiful. I feel like all my life, like something's been missing and now like she's just put everything together, like, being a family, as queer people, I feel like in the community we're told like that we can't have that and ever since having Nova we have just become even closer than ever and she really gives, she gives me a purpose. The thought before when I was pregnant of having a responsibility for an, another human being, a small human being, her childhood is in my hands and that's really deep I think. I just want to make sure that she's always loved and know that she can love whoever she wants and she can be whoever she wants without any judgement. So this is my book that I brought out in November. It's doing very well at the moment. And I was really scared at first about bringing this out because it's literally so in your face. It's obviously called In My Daddy's Belly, but I also wanted it to be like, I wanted it to catch people's attention. And this is a representation for people like me. There's so many people that are like me, but scared to speak openly about it. And this book is about showing that all families are different that we're all unique and queer families can have children too. And this book is basically from Nova's perspective of how she was born and that she's proud of her parents and that we're proud of her. Everyone always says to me like, oh, how are you gonna explain this to your daughter? Like where she's come from? And I just think, I'm just gonna tell her what's actually happened. And I want her to feel proud of of where she's come from and for her to have something to relate to is really, really important. And so many trans families have reached out to me and like it's really made them happy and complete that they've got something to relate to. Sometimes I wish that I could just sit at the back and just like not say anything at all. But when I see something that needs changing or we need to speak up about something, then I will continue to do that. For example, if, if someone's come out to you as trans and then you're not using the correct pronouns. Things like that. pronouns are really, really important. It's just that first step to making someone happy. Like I remember when I heard that first, when someone called me that first time and I was like, oh my God, it's just really important to keep fighting for trans rights.
So going forward, I am bringing out another book. <laughs> it's more of a autobiography and uh, resources, because like I said, I obviously had nothing there for me. This can be a place for when people constantly ask me questions about what was the experience like in hospital and stuff like that, working with midwives and stuff like that. It'll all just be in the book. And then I've also just started my own um, clothing brand called Crap Prints, and it's a queer t-shirt and tote bag clothing line, yeah. So that's very exciting. And I'm just gonna keep speaking about trans rights and just living, laughing and loving with my family. <laughs> One piece of advice I would give is just to always stay true to yourself, your authentic self, and that you are always valid no matter what. I am Logan Brown. I am making a difference. I am making a full impact.